So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to take screenshots of um, the three different types of views for your Catapult digital portfolio. For your portfolio, if we go to the Catapult 3D modeling slide, you need a top view, side view, and 3D view. And I'm going to show you how to do all these things right now. And this is given that this part of your project is done. Um, you have it modeled successfully, as well as you have it labeled as well. Remember, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and so on for each piece. So the first view I need you to make is going to be a 3D view. So we need to fill up as much of this area as possible with the um, catapult itself. Turn it and tilt it so you can see as much detail as possible. So right here you can see the front, the top, the sides, and part of the, like, the side of it as well. So in order to take a screenshot of this, we're going to click on Send To, the picture of your design. We're going to hit that Download button. And we're going to do this a few more times, but what we have to do before we do a side view and a top view, we have to click on this right here where it says switch to flat view, so we can see it at like a flat angle. So we need to switch out of this like 3D view that we see here at an angle, click on top, maybe zoom in a little bit, not that much, but a little bit so you can fill the screen like about right there, and do the same thing. This is for the top view, picture of your design, click download. And then last thing we need to do is do the front view, or the, I'm sorry, the side view. So fill as much of this as possible. Send to once more. Download. Okay, we have all three views downloaded. Now, your views are going to go in one of two places. For most of your computers, they go in your, um, your Google Drive. But they might also, if they're not in Google Drive and you can't find them there, they might be inside of your uh, computer downloads. And I'll show you how to upload both, okay? We want to put each of those pictures in each one of these in their appropriate area and try to fill it up or put it in this box, okay? First, we'll start with the 3D view. So we're going to insert it by clicking the drop-down menu, and we want to go to Image. And I'll show you if it's on your Google Drive. This is where you're going to find it right now. You're going to go down to Google Drive, wait for that to load up over on the right-hand side here, and once it loads up, you're going to find your views over here on the most recent. And that's only if, um, for the most part, it should be in your Google Drive. So, like I said, we're going to be putting the uh, both, all 3D views in. Start out with a 3D view. And we're going to click on this. Insert it. And, of course, when you first get it, it's going to be way too big. Um, before you resize it, though, I need you to crop it down and get rid of all this wasted white space out here. So, click on that crop button right there. And you just take your arrow your cursor and drag the little like boxes over to kind of trim it down once you're happy with it you hit enter and of course we got to shrink it down because right now it's way too big so we can fit it right inside this box so 3d views done the other ones are just the same exact process now like i said before if it does not show up in your google drive you might have to upload it from your computer and so like for my stuff Anything that I download goes to my downloads. Yours might go directly into your downloads. If it does, um, and you can't find it in your Google Drive, you're going to have to follow this process, and you just click on that, upload from computer, and then find the appropriate view. So for this, I want to do my side view. Hit open. And again, repeat that process of trimming out all that extra wasted white space by clicking on your little cursor and dragging the crop little um, anchors in. Hit enter to shrink it. I'm sorry, cut it off. And then we have to click it and drag it and shrink the whole thing down so it can fit appropriately inside of this boxed area, just like that. And then we just have to do this all three times until we get all our images in. The top, the side, and the 3D view. So I just have one more to go. Same exact process. Crop it down. Trim all that white space off. And then we're going to have to resize it and plop it right into that top view little box that we got going on here. That way I can go through and when I'm grading your project and we're reviewing everything, you're looking over everything, we can see like what it looks like when you're in the design stages of your actual project. And this also helps when you're going through the process of um, making your bill of materials and all the other things inside of your project and displaying them. 